well in the competition. Great side out tonight. They go and do what they did to Chelsea. Destroy Chelsea in the first 20, 25 minutes. Can they do that against Arsenal here? Three goals in every win. 40 goals in total in those nine games, which is the second best record of such stats in the history of the competition. You have to go back to 1881 to 1885. Blackburn Rovers, who did it 12 games in a row. They're going to make it 10 City. Arsenal are going to be on the receiving end, but they will have their own sense of resistance. They've got a very informed striker, Eddie Nketiah. Two goals last Sunday against Manchester United in the league. Two goals in the third round against Oxford United and filling in for the player signed from Manchester City, Gabriel Jesus, being more than a stand in. And incidentally, the other player from City that has joined Arsenal this season and done very well, Zinchenko, is amongst the substitutes. So we're underway, the fourth round is underway. And here's Gabriel, and that's the one surviving member of the starting back four. Manchester United last Sunday. Tommy Asu actually came on for the second half. And ben White, who didn't have a very good time against Marcus Rashford, and there's a withdrawal. Referee is Paul Tierney. Some of you might have been watching the Fulham Tottenham game on Monday night when he had a lot of trouble with the technical communications. His pack didn't work, linking with VAR. apply here, doesn't in every FA Cup game, because they all of them at Premier League grounds, of course, that's a, another debate for another time, but it's certainly a debate, and here's Haaland shrugging, holding aside. Ooh, fouling Haaland. Well, physically, I think this could be a mismatch. Erling Haaland was way too strong, so it looked for the hold in there. Who's grabbing hold of who? Well, uh, there you can see holding is grabbing hold of Holding is holding. <laughs> but I think Harlan may have backed into him to start with, and that's what the referee has given. Yeah, that was the very first offence. You're absolutely right, Stu. I think that's a worry for that man there. And into the side against, as we talked about, one of the best strikers in world football, if not the best. All the way by Nketiah. In goes Gabriel. Ortega would do well to notice and remember that Zach Stefan had a really poor semi-final last year against Liverpool, which really cost Manchester City a place in the final. Dwelt too long on the ball. Mane, Sadio Mane pinched it off him. Yeah, it does seem these days that the, uh, the top clubs can only get a backup goalkeeper if they promise them some game time. Michael Ortega and Turner. City pressing high up the field. Grealish, De Bruyne, Haaland, Mares, and they try and play out from the back. They don't do it particularly well. Rodri, oh, he's getting underneath that one. Here's Gabriel. both in the FA Cup, both in the semi-final stage. Bridge, good play in an FA Cup final for Aston Villa against Arsenal. Roger. Oh, the change in the round, too many for Manchester City tonight, but 
victory is a, a theme running through the team. A one-man theme. Just looking at it tactically, watch out for Nico Lewis, who was down at right-back, he will be at right-back for some of the game, but he's also gone into a midfield area early on here. Yeah, that's a Kyle Walker blueprint, really. Sky blueprint. And here's Trussard, Belgium international, of course. Goal against Manchester United. From the Ethel! Well saved by Ortega. The Japan International hit that hard and true. Back by Tierney. Bruyne has to get a touch defensively. Good moments these for Arsenal. Trusser. Tierney. Back with a jacket. Trusser tries again. of dealing with, uh, as Stuart described, one of the most effective English player in the Premier League. I think Marcus Rashford fans would probably want to put him on a par, if not the head, but they are the two. And they're attacking with great news for England as their international team. team in such great form. I'd like to play it safe by saying possibly. <laughs> <always> before <laughs> yeah. everything. It was a multitude of sins, no so one, possibly. No one's saying he shouldn't be on your list, Stuart, that's for sure. But that will be an intriguing battle on that far side of the pitch. Saka against Nathan Ake, who's been good over the last year and a half for Man City. John Stones. Yeah. What a good start it's been for Trossard. He set up Tommy Asu for the strike here. He hits it really cleanly, just keeps his eye on the ball, hits it with his laces. Slightly slices across it, which takes it back to the keeper. And a decent save from Ortega. Centre back in the back three, and then they change the system. He'd go to a normal right back. And saw him play as a right wing back. That's not a good throw from Lewis. He's from Manchester. Holding, he was claiming he was fouled. 
Simon just about did enough, and so did Tommy Yasu get himself back into the six-yard box. There's, uh, 14 games here. Erling Haaland has scored 22 goals. One of the big stats, 31. Going away in the competition, 25 in the Premier League. He's only Casper setting all sorts of records. First place of the FA Cup, and he could have had a couple of goals already. Partey. Saka against Ake. Tomiyasu. talking about before the game and at the moment I would say Saka has been absolutely brilliant and he's good at the World Cup it's always a mystery why he was taken off against France and he was causing them all sorts of problems he won the penalty Got a hat trick away to Liverpool. Still on feet for any player. And incidentally, have turned down a bit today, we understand, for Moises Caicedo, the Ecuadorian midfield player from Arsenal. Light in midfield. So Gundogan tries to cut through that department. Here's Grealish. Turn for Dante. Down near post. El Nini, who scored in the third round against uh, Austin United. Now, uh, maybe for the rest of the season, there's a backup midfielder. Well, they are playing with three in midfield today. Jack is on the left hand side. Marte is the holding midfield player. Vieira is to the right of him. London clubs. By coincidence, Fulham and Chelsea scored two in each of them. What a very good pass from Erling Haaland. Gundogan had to chase it. Just raised his boot here. It's Vieira. She pulls his boot back down. It's not the boot on head contact. Settling talk around Wilkai Gunduan, he's been offered a, a new contract, we understand he hasn't signed it. He's of course been in the pipeline for a good few months now. Another Silva who's not involved in the starting 11, another one who might be looking to be a few the nest. Tony's holding, Tony gets a touch, Saka with a snapshot, Tierney's there. Staying back as an insurance. What do you expect? 
City only making a couple of changes, one of those in goal. It will be more fluency, but actually Arsenal, having put this team together, I think they've had what, three or four days to work on it. You can see that work. Haaland, Haaland going more and more towards holding. Yeah, when they're pressing the ball matches the City, Mahrez has gone in field. There's another striker to go and try and press the two centre-backs. Lewis comes that little bit wide, it's up against Tierney. Oh, skimmer of a clearance by Turner. There is none the worse for that. Can't find him from the good way. Pass for him again. That's a better decision from the goalkeeper. There wasn't room to play out from the back, so he went into Saka. Been a better pass from Vieira. Saka would have been a 1v1 against Nathan Ake. Yeah, it's one of those uh, kind of deliveries from the goalkeeper. It's not too floaty, not floaty at all, in fact. We've got a better chance of hitting the team here. He gets in front of his man, Saka just did. First 15 minutes, really, for Manchester City. Barrio was uh, irritated by some pre match questioning, which was all about what do you make of Arsenal's team? Great surprises, as though Nikola Teta has pulled a tactical rabbit from the hat. One thing he has tried to do, Arteta, when the goalkeeper, Otego, has got the ball. Tierney's going in with Kevin De Bruyne, and Gabriel is coming out with Mares. So they're not going to allow Kevin De Bruyne, or the ball to be chipped into Kevin De Bruyne. running with the ball, he's going the other way, not actually going back towards his own goal. So he has you a chance to put him under a bit of pressure. Bit of a chunter at referee Tierney. Trouble for uh, behaviour on the field, a £40,000 fine, which is what they also got for uh, surrounding the referee. Um, and just a few days earlier against Newcastle in uh, the Emirates Stadium. Uh, trying to guide it on the uh, 
runner trying to look up with it was good away. Picked off by Roger De Bruyne. Can't really get himself into the game in meaningful positions, which he's so good at doing. Kanji. Go wide when they can, Manchester City, but Tierney saw that one coming. Yeah, too much loft on the pass. Defensively, Arsenal have been excellent so far in the game. Tierney is one of those, along with Holmey and Jacker, who did start the FA Cup win in 2020. Saved by Ortega. Hit with a amount of venom from Trossa. A little step over. Got it onto his left foot. That was arrowing into the far corner. Good effort from the Belgium. Exactly. As well. That's Grealish on his way. Read it well. Three for keeper. There's the danger at the other end. There's the strike. What you don't see there is he's got the step over to buy himself half a yard. And that's a good hand. It's a nice height for the goalkeeper. It's a good solid hand, isn't it? Rodri did well to get first to the uh, loose ball as it was pushed out. Holding, set it wide for Grealish, then made the next forward run. Halfway through the first half. Fascinating contest between these two. In the pursuit of silverware this season. Very decent pass with his left foot to Jacka. Here's Tierney. Plenty of animation from both coaches in the right direction towards their teams. I imagine they would have a go at each other. Two managers, Arteta will be the happier after this first 23 minutes. Really being put under too much pressure. Arsenal have created two good chances. Chances one for Tomiyasu, and one for Trossard. Eight years, eight years ago this month. Two new success. That was before the Guardiola reign actually started. Side flag, which Julie went up. And that is a real 
Real test for Rob Holding. He's played a lot of first team football, but he's not really in the Premier League setup these days. Harland is now on the ball, long side of Holding. He's still trying to get back. Harland waiting for the middle. Mara's got have other ideas of both the goal. Along with the left foot of his, it comes out to Lewis. And now De Bruyne. He tries to curl it. It bent, but not quite enough. That was a great effort. Emerging from the shadows of the match, really. He hasn't really been involved at all. This is a good bit of play. He threatens to pass it out wide. Trossard gets beaten. Chubbuck doesn't quite get out quickly enough, puts his arms behind his back. And the Bruyne bends it round him, but just can't get enough whip on it. Really good effort. Really similar in terms of attempts. Ortega that's had to make the two saves so far. There's the error. No space between the lines. Still use and Trussell oh, had the chance maybe to take it off past Lewis. It's a little too wide for him. Partey. Incidentally, that's uh, an FA Cup dispute, really. Uh, end of the time at uh, right for Trussard. He wasn't picked for their third round tie at Middlesbrough. And he wasn't happy about that. There was football falling out. Was there be the relatively new Brighton coach? Mikel Arteta was frustrated after doing, I'm told, 18 months' work on Mudrik. Get him from uh, Shakhtar, and then suddenly, in much more than 18 hours, they got Trussard. And he is at least uh, a ready made player for the Premier League, whereas Madrid, well, he's looked very good in his mountain for Chelsea so far. And I'm sure will be very good. Trussard's not a bad if you can't get the one, and Madrid wanted to come to Arsenal, they love to believe anyway. Chelsea came up with the money. Yeah, quite often that, that's the case. Get the one you want. You have to take the one you can get. As you said, Trossard is a very good player, has been for Brighton. Uh, decent time now. Two of the Man City players look a little bit off the pace at the moment. Goodwin being one of them, really got involved in the game. We talked about Kevin De Bruyne had that effort. Usually after the first 28 to 30 minutes, he'd have been dominating the game. Plenty of Arsenal fans here. This is different allocations for the FA Cup to get more tickets to the away side. Tough evening, Rob Holden. Yes. 
27 now. And then, uh, 150 times for Arsenal. I'll say twice in FA Cup winning teams. But you wouldn't say he was really much sharp from this season. Well, do you remember they brought Callum Chambers, didn't they? Arsenal alongside Rob Holding, and they were going to be the next two centre halves at one point. None of them quite fulfilled their potential. Chance for both coaches to get some ideas across, yeah. Easily and get it into the top third of the field without too many problems. And Man City have had to play at a slow tempo. They've, there's been times when John Stones has had the ball and he can't see a pass and he's passed it square, it's come back to him, he can't see another pass, gone back to the goalkeeper. Well, look at their most threatening Man City when the goalkeeper goes from back to front and up to Erling Haaland. This is going to to continue, of course, these days. Not before time. Checks uh, conducted very thoroughly. There is a move, of course, it was actually turned down by IFAB, the law, IFAB, the lawmakers, about having temporary concussion substitutes. So a player like the situation, rather uh, be checked out for five minutes, ten minutes, or whatever the allocated time would be. Somebody else could come on for those ten minutes. Uh, that was maybe for another time. It's not the regulation of the play goes off with concussion. Then an extra substitute to the five permitted for other injuries or tactical reasons is uh, applied to the team and the other team. The bonus of that uh, can bring in an extra player as well. We're going to deal with that. Erling Haaland's out there. Kind of running it seems again. Presently wants to take the free kick. Quickly, Trussard. It's a good responsibility for Rodri, who's recognised that down this side, Trussard is a threat. He's had to come out. It's a central role to deal with it. Gundogan to Rodri. Again, getting behind Manchester City this time, and coming in at pace, getting across the front of his man, Eddie Nketiah, in for many. And uh, look for a fraction of a second as though he's going to add another to his tally. I'm not quite sure what Lewis was doing. Almost just allowed Trossard to run towards the byline. Didn't show any urgency to get there. Right at the last minute, he sticks a leg out. Nketiah making a run across the defender. The Kanji. And good from Arsenal again. Started with Tierney winning that first ball. It's Gabriel that wins the first ball. Now comes out to Maris and Tierney's infield against the Bruyne. And you see him going again. Maybe that's one of the reasons the Bruyne hasn't had too many touches yeah. the way they've dealt with him. It's almost a new kind of city ball, isn't it? Well, what a surprise. Michelata, three and a half years under Pep Guardiola. A successful time as well.
throws long for Ketia, fighting Ketia. Tierney. International first season and after Cup said after his first game it was a dream debut. He's certainly lived up to his expectations. The options Ruben Diaz has been out for a while, he's on his way back. And here is Grealish. Gabriel getting very tight alongside each other, making sure there was glimmer of space for Harry Hull. But that was much better from Grealish. Picked up the ball, went inside of Tommy Asu, started running at pace. That's what we saw six, seven times a game when he was playing for Aston Villa. I'm sure we've always seen it at Man City. Been asked to pass it more than run with it. That's true. Kind of told to get up for a free turn and then Grealish does commit a final. Comment. Well, that's where they wanted a foul. He thought that Thomas Partey had just nudged him to the ground, and then when they try and win the ball back, the referee gives a foul. Frustration for the City fans. I've really seen their side play so far. Manchester has been uh, a dark place for Arsenal to visit down the years. They're on the domestic defeat of the Premier League this season. It was at Old Trafford back in September. And he has done just that. <laughs> Does uh, play on the front foot, on the left foot. Kieran Tierney. There is going to be a miscalculated cross. It's more likely to be an overhit one. Steams in to possession. And steams into the tackle as well. well. A couple of years ago, he was Arsenal's best player by quite some way, wasn't he? It must be Tierney and all the ten were picked. He had a bad injury. Being the main left back this season. Well, if he throw from Ake, but it's just an unfair one. Arsenal have scored in 25 of their 27 games this season. Away to PSV and at home to Newcastle. PSV, of course, in the Road to lead. Gabriel Harlan. He's got so many qualities of which speed is one. Speed and power. He was never favourite to get to that ball. Well, he is chasing it. That was a miss kick by Tierney. Gabriel was slow to get there. Half a chance for the Norwegian. Centre-halves for Arsenal have been good this year, Gabriel and Saliba. But you do still feel as though there's an odd mistake in their game. Here's Stones. A challenge in, come away with the ball. Lewis, Mahrez. And Ketia, there's a bit of confusion here between Stones and the goalkeeper. Ketia. Very nearly cashed in and might still cash in because his trotter. City looking rather out of sorts here. Well, that's a credit to Arsenal. All these changes haven't made too much difference to the confidence and the quality of their play. But one thing about Manchester City, they can flick a switch and uh, certainly find themselves in front even when they're not playing particularly well. Grealish forcing it through to Harland. Grealish keeps going. Royal. For Roger, Gundogan 
Grealish on the scene as well. Grealish crosses. Touch the trajectory well. And his line let it go past the, into the goal. And that started because Grealish makes it there. Grealish went on a run. Just went past the first challenge. That made Arsenal defend that a little bit deeper. Certainly no offside there with Grealish. And then Marlon tries to get in front of Gabriel, which he'd done, but the cross wasn't quite good enough. Norm Grealish. Gabriel has had to change a few things. He's obviously trying to work with Haaland on his game as well. But, um, the aerial route is not something that Manchester City were known for probably since Edin Dzeko left. And you often see them slide the ball in. It was a wonderful goal against Chelsea, scored by Phil Foden. That kind of move in the third round. On the low road. to get to the ball. So that's the ball the goalkeeper's got to play. They're leaving the space so he can just shift it into that area. Harlan gets away from Holding, plays it square and then tries to run off. And it's just it's a silly bit of play by Holding. He's always going to get a yellow card from that. He must realise that, Hold, that Harlan's going to play it square and make a run in behind him. Crucial time at the back end of last season, away to Spurs. And Arsenal had, 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 if they'd won the game, they would have gone into the Champions League. And Holding did not survive the first half. His uh, nemesis that night was uh, Son Young Min. Certainly, Haaland posing the problems for him here. Some of the key players we talked about before the game haven't really. Their best, even Saka, who has been magnificent for Arsenal this season, has really gone past Ake with any regularity. Uh, Ake looks the kind of defender that he might have trouble with, similar size, similar speed. I'm sure the England left back had a pretty tough time on Sunday. Saka was irresistible. Vieira. Still getting used to saying Vieira again in an Arsenal commentary. <laughs> Patrick, who's serving football well as a manager these days, of course, Crystal Palace. As well with Manchester City, as a player towards the end of his career. So coach there. New side, didn't it? Yeah. For a while. So we move to MLS. So, uh, I used to say he comes from Senegal. He plays for Arsenal. Uh, yeah, he comes from Portugal. Here's Nketiah. And he is playing for Arsenal. Be, uh, there in Roger. Standard. That was a straightforward pass for him. It's maybe a measure of the fact that Manchester City haven't been able to re relax on the ball in this game because Arsenal have done so well. And as they close in on the first half, damage on the scoreline, and they've had a couple of good efforts themselves. Tommaso and Trossard attempts to take the lead here and find a passage into round five of the FA Cup. You saw the possession stats there. Yes, Man City have had more possession. And a lot of that has been in their defending third. Not been able to get it out from back to front. The only time they have got it from back to front is when the goalkeeper's gone straight into Harlan. Do this again. No 
nobody. Gabriel. Here's Trussard. Taking on two. Jones has pulled, uh, Stones has pulled his hamstring here. He's had a lot of recent problems. Just watch him here as Trossard goes inside of him. Just there, you can see him pull up, then puts his hand to the back of his leg. That's not good. The centre back. On the uh, stroke of half time, a couple of added minutes to come, of course. A little bit more to add to that now. Well, they've got a couple of players who can come straight on. Carl Walker could come and play as the right sided centre half in what is at times a back three, or they could play Laporte and everybody moves across one. Or well, Ruben Diaz. Yeah, Diaz. Who hasn't played too much since uh, coming back injured from the World Cup. Port was also at the World Cup, part of the uh, Spain side that in the end disappointed. And John Stones is the study in disappointment here. And the only escape clause is if it's a bit of crap. Uh, I don't know Pep Guardiola can wait till half time for a, a real check up as, uh, to make this uh, change, which is. Counts as one of the windows if he leaves it till half time. And he still has the, the full set of three. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't look too good for the England man. So it was a great first half for it. On the board, he couldn't see a pass forward, he took too long at times. The crowd were just you know, irritated by it. And then, as he's trying to recover, just pulls his hamstring. It's never good. Oh, I merit the port. He's sitting back down again. I just wonder if they're thinking about this window. Yeah, I think Pep Guardiola's just asking the referee, how long are you going to play? Yeah. Three windows in the second half if at half time they make a change and Stones comes off then. So maybe they're just going to go through this a couple of minutes and take a chance. It's a chance for Arsenal, really. He's just gone in. He played for Spain, of course, as a centre back. Come on. Oh, lucky John Stones. An FA Cup casualty. Gabriel. Tony trying to get forward. Added time to added time. The first half that has been perhaps slightly against the, the perceived wisdom when the teams were announced that Arsenal were the ones that really decided to rotate. Keep some aces up their sleeves, maybe for the two, certainly the next Premier League meeting, which is only a couple of weeks away. The first of the two. He's got to be the happier of the two managers. His side have controlled the game, controlled the pace of the game, should I say. And a couple of good chances. His side have never really got going. It's all been a bit ponderous. More mistakes than we normally see from a Man City team when they've been passing. No real penetration. And at half time, as you say, Arsenal with more to be pleased about. Threatening twice themselves with Tommy Asu and Trossard. Erling Haaland has given problems to Rob Holding in particular, who's picked up a yellow card and is just trying to put his point of view to referee Tierney, who showed that yellow card to him. 
But the, the meat of the matter to come in the second half, you feel, of course, the replay is available. Welcome back to the Etihad. Arsenal have made a double substitution at half time. Saliba to the centre of the defence. That's Conga into midfield. I think we're too surprised about the change at the back, Stuart. No, I think he was having a really tough time, wasn't he? Holding against the main man, Harland. Gets the second half underway. Half in which he did have more of the ball, as Stuart pointed out. Well, that was uh, playing around this kind of situation at the back. Arsenal carried a fair bit of menace, particularly with Trosser. It's often said that uh, Thomas Partey is uh, an absolute essential for Arsenal to do well. We have to see now his uh, departure at half time whether that actually is as. Uh, Significant as the general philosophy about Arsenal is. Partey, they're not quite the same. Lukonga just going to take on the same job. Saliba reunited with Gabriel. Maybe a move that Nikola Arteta possibly didn't want to do. If you want to play him, we'll play him from the start. Anyway, we'll see. By Laporte, who, of course, was City's substitute right on the stroke of half time. John Stones went off. Tommy Astro looking for a way out. Across, uh, yes, he's got a way out with a goal kick. Grealish doesn't agree with that. Yeah, that's about the best he could have hoped for there. Yeah. I'm not sure Saliba's pass to him was a particularly good one. Put him in a bit of trouble. It was nil-nil, but Manchester City have scored in all their home games this season. Last of all, uh, domestic away games. As I the first half, they drew a blank in the Netherlands, away to PSV Eindhoven in the competition. Trossard, Tini goes again. Always oh, took the ball to run out. It hasn't. Goes out of Kanji. And Arsenal will get the throw. Only time Manchester City have beaten Arsenal in the FA Cup was in 1904. given the, the stature of the two clubs. Gunduan. And with great affection, it was a fifth round game at the old uh, Main Road Stadium. And the Yankees won the League and Cup double. 70-71, 2-1. Two goals from Charlie George, who I saw on Sunday attending the... Uh, Manchester United fixture at the Emirates, still as chirpy as ever. Yeah, apart from the long hair, he doesn't look much different, does he? It's Tommy Asu. Yeah, that was a very good Manchester City tie team at that time, 1971. Now Rodri. 
Lewis. It's always interesting when Manchester City don't play particularly well in the first half. What Pep Guardiola does at half time to change things around. Will it be tactical? Will it be personnel? He's had to make the change with the port coming in at centre half. Don't see too much difference in the way they're trying to play here. Straight on to him, so it makes it hard for City to involve him. Tony gets the toe to it. Here, again, the pass was aimed. Gabriel is found by Marks. Just think there's a confidence about Arsenal at the moment when they're in possession, when they're defending. Close the ball down and make matches the city play backwards. And they do have possession, they can kick the ball, they can look penetrative at times. Gabriel. Behind them, Kevin De Bruyne with time on the ball. He tried to pick out the right pass. Turn. Now to Bruyne. Tyler came out and reached it. Anticipated it well. Lewis. Now Lewis. Now to Bruyne. Wolves in their last game last weekend, Harlan Hattrick, but the game before that, they were 2 0 down at half time to Tottenham here 10 days ago, and attacking this end of the ground in a storming second half. Scored four, they scored more, went away with the points. Good run from Lewis. Checker looked across at the assistant on that side, was hoping it was going to be given offside, he allowed him to run in behind him. The awareness or composure at the end of the run to find the right cross. And that's the sort of run that Kevin De Bruyne makes to great effect. Just that time. The mantra. That's the city. What a mutual respect in this fixture. Starting, of course, from the two managers. With goalkeeper Matt Turner, he reached out for that ball in. Damaged his shoulder, and probably as he landed. He actually read it quite well. He realised that Kevin De Bruyne was going to bend it into the space. So he just took a couple of steps. Didn't seem to be an awkward landing. Another look at it. about it, so he's a cheerful sort of soul. He's of course the first choice goalkeeper. And it's a 
opportunity. A tactical timeout. Which of course isn't in the protocol of the game, but more and more starts to be evident. It's okay. Walker's experience. Utilised, it seems, by Leicester City in the second half. There's the one substitute so far, Laporte. Towards Harland. Shays to Grealish. And get Mahrez away here. That's the leading numbers back. Mahrez, De Bruyne. Another good save by Turner. Tested the injury. Here's Lewis. City trying to keep the pressure on. It's been difficult for them to have sustained passages of play here. Well, that was the sort of run you were talking about from Kevin De Bruyne, and that was the overlap rather than the one just inside Mares. He timed it to perfection the pass, Mares. Just wonder whether Kevin De Bruyne was looking to score himself or actually crossing it for the run of Erling Haaland. Mahrez. The first line of defence for Arsenal. Mahrez gets the better of him. Never does any harm when you're a striker to give the goalkeeper a bump or two. And here's that moment again. Pavanel's the player that goes out. That reverse pass is brilliant. I think he was looking for the cross. A good save by the goalkeeper, Turner. That would have been the typical City goal we were talking about in the first half. Slide it across, and it's happened. And also, I'd say that probably Tommy Esso would have got to it first as well. It was good defending by him at the far post, and it got that far. And a couple of changes. Julian Alvarez and Kyle Walker. Gabriel. Okay. Sure for Lewis. Oh, he's had a big part in that to uh, come back against Spurs. Scored the first goal. The fourth. Oh, scored the second. Are penalised and the changes can be made. <laughs> Mike Mares dispatched a penalty against Chelsea in the last round of his FA Cup debut. Mares off. And not his night, he's had some very good nights recently. Showing signs of promise, and he went off to the World Cup as a backup player. It seemed for Argentina, forced his way into the team, scored four goals in the tournament. And he's come back full of beans. And there's some instructions for Kevin De Bruyne as Walker came onto the field here. Maybe, maybe a change of shape, change of roles for one or two of the players. Get number nine, get number 19. Pass forward. Nine and 19 are in harness here. So the flag was up. It's a fascinating game because neither team would want to replay. Crowded schedule. <laughs> Three more games between them to come. Chance. Does he need to take it quite so early? I'm not sure what the pool is doing. He turns his back on it. He's taking another touch into the box, maybe Vieira. He never hit the middle of the ball, not the outside of mm. his leg a bit, but it is a difficult skill. Alvarez. 
Bruyne. Looking for Manish, but Tomiyasu's in the way. Good play, Tomiyasu. Yes, had a bit of height on it. The ball up from De Bruyne. Those fullbacks have done that quite well. They've been in a position where they can get out and put the wide player under a bit of pressure early on. It's been a good hour for this uh, much changed Arsenal team. because of surgery in October. He made it. going to play up alongside Haaland. Kevin De Bruyne has moved a bit further out to the right-hand side. It's about 4 2 four, isn't it? Really, yeah. really. Chance for Arsenal, maybe, because the two centre-halves are going to be isolated at times for Manchester City. Good one from Ketia. Good to add. And Manchester City make a breakthrough here. Can run again, but he stumbles into it. And it's a goal kick, and uh, Jamie is the leader of the pack now. Back into trying to find the right formula from midfield. Outside Rodri. Well, you see that Man City have had more of the ball, but a lot of those passes have been ineffective in terms of penetration. Vieira. The Congo has done well. Straight to Osaka, popping up more centrally. Of possession. Well, they seem to know where their next pass is at the moment. Look comfortable on the ball. They wriggle away from situations. They've been first to the knockdowns. Completely dominating game because they haven't done that. Still would say they've been the better team so far. a little bit. Nathan Ake backing up the play after Alvarez.
Alvarez had hit the post, City kept on going, and they lead Arsenal by one goal to nil. Well, what a good strike that was from Alvarez to start with. You said it, nobody really closed him down, he had space in front of him. And I think Grealish does exactly the right thing here. It was always going to be difficult to hit this first time with his left foot. First touch wasn't great. He kept his composure, he found that bit of space. And then he sets up Nathan Ake on his weaker right foot. What a good finish that is. Xhaka tries to step across the line of the ball. Tommy Asu stops Grealish going past him. It's that reverse pass, and it just opens up nicely, doesn't it, for Nathan Ake? We're right behind it here. Saka can't get a block in. Saliba comes out, and what a good finish. Well, they are the pass masters, and he's passed it into the net. They've taken a slight deflection off the defender, but it's a good finish all the same, and that's what it means to Manchester City. Because it's been tough, it's been hard going. And the response now from Mikel Arteta is to shuffle the pack. Trossard has been quieter in the second half. His way to Gabriel Martinelli, of course, who's the first choice down that left-hand side. And back at the Etihad. FA Cup winner, of course, with Manchester City in 2019. Alex Zinchenko facing Tierney. There's the other left-back who's made the breakthrough. Tommy Asset. Zinchenko. A very popular figure here. Fans and with the players. Oh, and Enketia. The court seemed to intervene. Took it off from Kedia's toes, Stuart's about to tell us. Well, that's a great ball played into the box by Xhaka. Oh, big, big chance. And Laporte may just get something on this just there. He does. It's an important touch, and Kedia would have just passed it with the inside of his right boot into the back of the net. Well, he definitely did, because it is a corner. <laughs> For the game, uh, we've been over-blessed with corners. And that's another one now, as they look for an equaliser here. Kaya Saka. the area but it's a vital part of the goal that eventually went down to Aka. Here's Saka. Coming off Grealish. Mani Martinelli. Having away by Laporte. We've got a game on now. Good yeah. response isn't it from Arsenal. Tommy Asa. Ketia coming in trying to set up Martinelli. Discipline. 
crazy player, but he just made the old crazy tackle. Five red cards for Arsenal. One of the problems he had is because he's not blessed with great pace. When Arsenal were out of shape, he quite often had to race across the field as quick as he could do and get a challenge in. He's often late. Now he's looking for Saka. Really stood well. Backing back in. Now back out. Saliba. Given a foul against Harland. So I think nice to see now they've got the goal for Alvarez to drop a little bit deeper. Yes, they've had a good spell Come through the midfield and not going into what uh, nearly did. Into a position to affect the scoreline. Well, there's lots of spaces for Arsenal attack. The ball attacking in from the right hand side. Zinchenko forward down that left hand side along with Martinelli. Grealish. Harlan can turn. Bruyne to the right. Now Rodri. Okay, well maybe a bit of taste for the another one. in the first half doing that. With the 70 minutes played, Arsenal made some substitutions, maybe too high a press is a bit too much for them. off and match the team's ability to play through a press. Just members up the field but not really engaging. Goes long. And Turner again. He's not made the best contact this time. He's done that aspect of his uh, play very well. One in the first half, which is making an outfield player's tackle. Gabriel there. The referee thought that he was fouled. 
by Hart, and I thought it was the other way round. Kanasaka off, Martin Odegaard off. Bernardo Silva. This place of Kevin De Bruyne. Two players we picked out probably didn't have their most effective games. The drawing out wasn't at his best tonight. Really involved enough, didn't have enough time on the ball to pick out those passes we were talking about. I think you can say the same about Saka. Probably lost the duel against Nathan Ake. Well, I've lost the match against uh, Nathan Ake, Arsenal. Still more than 15 minutes to go. And they played with enough panache to suggest that they certainly not out of the FA Cup yet. Odegaard, Captain on. Another player that probably Mikel Arteta didn't really want to use. The circumstances dictate Odegaard going into the tackle. Bernardo Silva recently arrived as well. Avoiding the challenges. It's as though Vieira is going to play that little bit wider. Odegaard is going to play in field. Their throw. Oh, Lost to Beat City in the semi final in 1932. Lost the final to Newcastle in the fifth round in 71. Went on to win the FA Cup in the semi final in 2017. Went on to win the FA Cup in the semi 2020 at that stage. So City will feel their long overdue a win. 1904. What was the second round then, but it's the equivalent of the fourth round, so same sort of stage they win 2 0. One might be enough here. And after the goal, Arsenal had a bit of pressure on, a bit more intensity going forward. They've just slowed that down now. Walker and Bernardo Silva trying to get on the outside of Jacker. Always good when you're wearing your match studge and you go onto that artificial turf, which is uh, one of many a Premier League pitch, actually, to try and stop the ground being worn down by the uh, assistant referees. Give them a good purchase and put where there's more attuned to. Turf. And the outcome is a free kick to Manchester City. Trusted to Jack Grealish here with Kevin De Bruyne now off the pitch. It was up high. Ahead of the ball. Alvarez. Pissed it away. It's a good challenge there by Akanji. Good first again. Penners look good. Yeah, it's a, it is a good punch, but I think from that position he probably should get two hands on it. That's the safer technique. But it wasn't a bad effort from the goalkeeper. Here's the port. Many. Here is Grealish. 
has been a couple of times, both times in the Premier League. Rodri. Wanted to join in, but Zinchenko gets there first. Here's a Kanji. They've worked hard to try and see his level. Take it down to North London for a replay. At the moment, they can't quite get enough possession, as you just saw there, since the goal, the last 15 minutes. And the City just edged it, 51%. There's Martinelli. And Saliba. And to make a run. In deep in position to catch City out. Responsibility of Martinelli. Been a ago, he's got seven this season. There's Rodri. Sweet by Odegaard. Strike though, I think this was dipping and swerving on the goalkeeper. It did well to hang on to it, Turner. Tomiassi. Towards Nketia. Nice touch from the main front man. Odegaard. And here's Jacka. Zinchenko. Stationed on the right, as you rightly say, so about trying to uh, play from a more central position, which he loves to do. Almost up on one side of Ketia, trying to make an extra man in the box. Almost looking to get the position to play into the box is difficult. When he first came to Arsenal, that's he played in the number 10 role, didn't he? But it's been slightly deeper this season. We've got to take a risk here. This team, or they're going out of the FA Cup, and much will be made of oh, the rivalry between the Mikel and Pep. This might mean no one will talk about the FA Cup tie when they meet in the league. This will be consigned to the, uh, the weekend's stories. And that eventually, who goes into the draw which will happen, uh, later in the weekend? Zinchenko. At the moment, it looks like Guardiola's team are going to make the progress. Tommy Asset. Tommy Asset again. Odegaard again. The difference between Zinchenko and Tierney. Zinchenko working infield like he is here. Good. For Martinelli. And, uh, City wanted offside. But that's what Walker brings to Manchester City, that pace. Great recovery run. Just about got back in there. And maybe a set peek can do the trick. Set piece coach. 
Jovet. Two old hands. Grabbing. He's not looking. He was looking. Ball goes somewhere else. And a good header from Rodri. Goes away, but here's some Martinelli round the back. Still going. That's another corner. He is up the ante. He certainly has. Did well to get along the byline. Well, he did look to pick anybody out here. Gundogan was looking for the cutback. That's why he stopped. And Martinelli is probably. Uh, I'm aware that Leandro Trossard has done impressively on his first substitute and tonight his first start. He's quite got the pace of Martinelli. And he's clever on the ball, Trossard, as we saw. Here's Zinchenko. <laughs> this time, just an Arsenal throw. Five minutes left by stoppage time. Still pushing. Saliba. Martinelli's off again. City. Make sure that Arsenal don't get in behind them. Saliba advancing. Now on the right. Here we go. The players' teams are very good on the ball, but they're being asked to be very good without the ball here. And doing the job as time ticks on. Time is the enemy to Arsenal. Step through for Martinelli and Ortega is flying out. Did well the goalkeeper. Read the situation here. Not a bad pass from Jacka. Martinelli would have been offside anyway. And comes out quickly. Martinelli beat him quite easily there. Oh, just for a moment, Gundogan and he put his right boot on the ball. Looks like he put it back into a dangerous area. As in Jenko and Bernardo Silva, happy to get that. Use up a bit more time. Serious injury. Don't win many games 1 0 Manchester City. I think it's a testimony to Arsenal's part in this FA Cup tie. That's where we are in the 89th minute. Well, Man City aren't really looking for a second goal, are they? are just trying to keep possession. It's going to be a dangerous game if you keep going backwards and square. It needs one mistake, one bad pass. Avenue in the inside left channel for Nketiah. 
He took a gamble, and Kanji stepped out, made the challenge. Good job he did. Left the space in behind him. And Katie, looking deep. It's having a great effect. Now they're not really thinking long and hard about a second goal. of ensuring possession. Ake, cast in the role of match winner here for Manchester City. Midfield play, obviously uh, Manchester United stock, but he was saying before the game, I thought Rodri was the most influential Manchester City player. As I said earlier, he, he gets picked as Fernandinho's moved on, who had that role for a while and played in tandem sometimes. Rodri has got a great sense of game management. Who gets a, a yellow card in his return? Yet he had. Of course, he also played at centre half, didn't he, Rodri, for Spain in the World Cup? Didn't do that. Bathe in the glory. Too many left backs get uh, if they cut winning goals a tie of this magnitude. Make no mistake about it. His major contribution was stopping Saka playing. Yeah. Saka was Arsenal's danger man. He's been brilliant over the course of the season and maybe the last 18 months. He's best player I thought at the World Cup in terms of running with the ball. I've seen him off and scored the goal as well. Well, a card for good doing for time wasting, I think, here. Harland. Oh, so that. Jim Kerr is looking for a to be careful. And there is Nussling in. Bernardo Silva comes out with the ball. Alvarez. Played it actually if he'd looked up to Harland. We go into added time. The second goal looks more like a, a bonus than a necessity. And on the verge, Manchester City of reaching the fifth round of the FA Cup. And as you said, things have been quite hot this season on uh, time wasting. It's a hot topic amongst the officials. With no time to waste. To try and get the ball up the pitch and numbers up the pitch. Job done as we look at this. Well, one thing, if it 
stays this way. Pointed out in Arsenal's favour. Erling Haaland's played the whole game and not scored. This is Arteta's uh, first attempt to keep him quiet. Looks as though he was going to run the show when Rob Holding had those early problems. Substitution from his time. Straight with himself, it was a poor challenge, not a dirty challenge, just mistimed, too upright. I don't think he'd get a second yellow for that. Be surprised anyway. Well, I have seen him sent off actually against the North London tennis, sent off at Tottenham. And the auspices of Pep Guardiola then. Well, the great thing for Manchester City in the FA Cup. Now know they're the highest ranked team in the tournament. They have knocked out the league leaders. Much will be made of this with the two league games to come. Cursory handshake between two very good friends, but Mikel Arteta understandably disappointed. Arsenal with their great FA Cup record have been knocked out. It's a second hurdle as far as they're concerned. Manchester City, thanks to Nathan Ake, with a, a delightfully executed finish. As I said at the time, they love to pass the ball, Manchester City, and he passed it beyond Matt Turner, who 